uh, you know, hello, hello, hello. Uh, Hollywood Gomorrah is coming up soon. This is my new book. Hollywood is nothing but Gomorrah. Am I right? Uh, z, 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 la, la, la. I love it. <laughs> z, la, la. Hi, Skip. I love that name, Z, la, la. Who Thank came up with that you. idea? That's a beautiful name. To tell you the truth, uh, one day I was uh, sleeping and I had a dream and all these aliens were calling me Zilala. Zilala. I woke up and I told my manager and I said, that's it. That's Th your name, that's right? That's my name. You look great. Who makes your Thank costumes? You so They're much. beautiful. Uh, today I'm wearing one of my favorite designers. Uh -huh. His name is Rocky Gathercool. I love him. He's uh, from Manila, Philippines. From the Philippines. Yeah. Oh, those poor people had a terrible tragic of the, uh, the storm, you yeah. know. But uh, we're helping. We're all, everybody's pitching in to help. Every day. But anyway, the costumes are just gorgeous. Thank you. Is it a little Filipino boy or girl? Boy. Boy. Okay. Well, yeah. they're, they're, a, they're a mixture of everything there. I know. Tell me about it. <laughs> I bet he's more girl than boy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> anyway, tell me, you are an international singing star. You you do albums. You Now you just did a, a single, yes. uh, two of them, matter of fact. But yes. this one, uh, Fly Away, tell me about that. Uh, released Flyway earlier this year. That was my first single. Oh, you already you it, it's released. Okay. Yes, it it did release, and I released it in fourteen different languages. Fourteen languages of yeah. singing. Yes. You sing in fourteen languages. How I many do. do you speak in? Uh two. Two. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Armenian and English. Ah, you're Armenian lady. Yes. Ah, tall, yes. beautiful. How tall are you? Five foot nine. Armenian men are hot, though. <laughs> so, you know, I, I, they all live in Glendale. You don't live in Glendale, do you? I don't. So but, many people ask me that. But Glendale is the place, the melting pot of all the Armenians. All of them. I'm uh, at, right now. I'm in the valley. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm in the valley right now. Did you study singing? What was that? Did you study singing? Uh, you know what? I've had classical vocal training. Uh huh. Oh well. Really? Uh, yes. And uh, had had classical vocal training, and uh, currently on the go. I don't. Uh -huh. uh, I do it myself. Uh -huh. I do it myself. Uh, I have the CDs. I have everything, and I play the piano, and I do vocal. You write your own music too. Everything, yes. Really. I do all the lyrics. And who produces your show? You have, because you have a wonderful producer. Yes, I do. Uh, one of my amazing producers is Robert Roth. Uh, is he German? He is. See, Germans are the best for that type of thing. Germans do it best. Yeah. They're good soundproofs. they good sounders. Oh, they yeah. Have, he, matter of fact, he owns Great a studio. Great sound engineer. He owns a studio he in does? the valley. CRC. What is it called? CRC. CRC. Yes. Oh, because Bing, Bing Crosby's uh, grandson is uh, Chris Crosby. He he records there. Yes, I'm, I'm very familiar with uh, Chris. Chris, isn't he Great great? Friend. He's, he's I love a wonderful Chris. person. Yeah. Tell ma don't tell Mama. You know, I'm there on Sunday nights. Don't tell Mama. I'm there every Sunday, and baby, at 9 o'clock, we start and swing in the room. I love that room. Gotcha. It's on uh, Santa Monica Boulevard in uh, Sweetser. And if you get stuck with parking around there on Sunday nights, you go to the city hall, around the city hall in the back, and you can park there for nothing. Oh. Nobody knows that, but you can park there for nothing. It's just, Good to let know. You, yeah, it's, I Don't tell mamas on Sunday nights. I need to come check it out. Yeah, you check it out. You're going to sing. Matter of fact, will you sing this Sunday for me? Of course. Huh? Really? I would love to. I love to see you <laughs> sing this Sunday, really. Yeah. You brought some videos. I'd love to see this fly away with me. Yes. And uh, we're going to show one of the clips of Please. that video. Let's see it. I'd love to see it, okay? Let my audience see it. Fly away. <laughs> Z la la. <laughs> <laughs>
tell you, Armenian men must fall in love with you. Oh, thanks. They, do they get upset when they see their lady like themselves uh, nude like that? Oh, you know what? Armenian men are very protective. Uh-huh. Uh, they uh, definitely uh, are not too comfortable seeing their girlfriends in... in sexy uh, outfits. Yeah. Why is that? Uh, I think it's that uh, the way... That should be pre- what? Well, you know what? It's the way they're raised and um, uh-huh. they're very protective, very passionate, uh, they uh, they love hard, and yeah. they're very protective. How about your parents? Because you used to live with your parents. Yes, and I've lived with my parents at one time, and they are uh, they have a lot of value, a lot of morals, but they're uh-huh. still open minded. They are. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I mean, they came to America in the seventies, and they were you know they're Americanized. So, so. you went to school where in the valley? Uh, I did. I I went in the valley. I went in uh, Encino. Oh, okay. It was a private school. A private school? Mm-hmm. Really? How come a private? It was a private. Better? You know what? I think it's because I have I have a big family. Armenians are big. They have big families, a lot of cousins. Right. Uh, all of them went there. and oh, they I, went to this private school? Yeah. Really? Oh. Uh, the whole school was my family. <laughs> oh, your whole school was your family. Okay. Everybody. I uh-huh. knew everybody. I had a cousin in each grade. Really? It, it was like going to my second home. Uh-huh. Um Maybe because it was private and more comfortable to my mom, you know, she felt more comfortable sending me to a private school Uh because I went to public school uh, before and it wasn't too safe. I had a few different situations I dealt with that uh, were not the best. Tell me something. Do you have a manager now? Is it a man? uh, What's the name? Robert Roth. Robert, the German man. Yes. He handles you. Robert, the German Roth. He handles you. Does he tell you what you're doing or what you? Because tell me about this uh, song you just did. Yes. What's that all about? Fly away. Fly away. Um, yeah. It's about breaking free, letting go of all your boundaries. Oh, okay. Yes. And we showed uh, the video. We show a girl who's a secretary and she's at her day job. And she office. let everything go. Yeah. She falls. She takes a little cat nap and she finds herself in paradise. Uh-huh. And she wakes up. When she wakes up, we bring back a uh, old music film I did in the past, and we kind of twist it. Uh-huh. And the book is Planet and Neptun, which is Neptune backwards. It it's kind of showing uh, two different worlds and mm-hmm. where we are and where we really wish to be. You have to have a story. Always. Uh, and videos, right? Uh, Who came up what? with this story? This is a good story. This one was produced by Robert Roth. Ah, okay. 
Yes. He did another one for you too, did he? He did. The second one we produced together, but he directed both of them. Uh huh. Uh, Sweet Dreams, which is my second single, was produced by Robert and I, but he directed it. Uh-huh. Uh, we were in six months of pre-production. Really? We put a lot of labor of love into these videos, and it turned out... It's a out lot of work, huh? Oh, a lot. Because when you're saying you put a lot of work into it, yeah. it just... Uh, we put our 100% into everything we do, uh-huh. from the music to the videos to the... And you write your own music? I, I, I write my own lyrics. This is what's so important for a singer like you. You gotta write your own songs. It's it, yes, I'm very, uh, I'm very much involved in every aspect of my career. Mm-hmm. So um, I would love to collaborate with uh, other artists in the future, but of course I'm picky. Mm-hmm. Um, I did write mm, all the lyrics to my first. You album. should do a belly dancing. <laughs> you know what I mean? A song belly I'd dancing. Love to. That's what you should do, Child Robert. That I advise <laughs> do a number of belly dances. <laughs> You know what I mean? I'd love that. And I think that'd be great. You'll be f- fabulous as a singing be- belly belly dancer. You know? Hey, you know, it's my roots. Um, I do have. I'm I'm Lebanese Armenian, so right. uh, it's definitely part of my culture. Of course. I I did uh, do a song a long time ago, which was just a single. It was not a part of the album, but uh-huh. it was it incorporated um, Arabian music, right. uh, Arabian rhythms, and there was belly dancing in the video. Uh-huh. Thank you. Because Why belly not? dance is beautiful. <laughs> you know, it's international. It's, it's gorgeous. Yeah, it's this next out, uh, this next song you brought me is, uh, well, "Sweet Dreams" is a hot number. I understand. Yeah. This is a big number, isn't it? It was originally produced by the Eurythmics, ah. um, and in the eighties. Uh-huh. And uh, I, if I oh, had, this was already produced. Yes. Okay, go ahead. I redid it. Um, uh-huh. If I had a chance to redo any song, it would be that. Uh-huh. Uh, it was an amazing song. I believe in the lyrics. It's exactly how I felt with my own life being in this industry. Uh-huh. Yeah. How do you feel about it? Being, you know, as a Armenian lady, uh, you know. I think it's. I think everybody, every artist is different. I really, it's my life. I put my heart, my everything into it, and uh, it's a lot of hard work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not. It's it's glamorous on the outside, but there's a lot of hard work on the inside. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Who's some of your favorite artists you have, like Madonna or? Sure. Or. Sure. Uh, Grace Jones, Kate that's Bush. That's one of my fine Kate. Right. Love. Love Grace. Her. So eccentric. Ah. Uh, Prince. Uh huh. I love Prince. Uh, style. You like style because you have yeah. style. That's what you like. You like yeah. people with style. People with style who mm-hmm. who have flavor. And who are good performers? Michael uh-huh. Jackson, uh-huh. Sting. But he never moved me. That, I must say, Michael Jackson was great, but he never moved me. Is that so? Now I don't know why, but he never really got about, me excited. Okay, how about Freddie Mercury? Who? Freddie Mercury, the Queen. Queen. The Queen. Yes, yes, yes. Very oh, much. I love them. Yeah, yeah. The they're, Queen. They're fantastic. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, let's hear this uh, "Sweet Dreams." What's that all about? As a matter of fact. Okay, let's see. The Sweet Dreams video, we showed one example of a girl who wants to be a big superstar. Uh And it shows uh, what she has to put up with and all the obstacles she had to go through um, until she got to her goal. You pretty much always find yourself under somebody else's mercy Mm -hmm. uh, when you have a big dream. There is no casting couch in this one, is it? (laughs) There is a casting couch in all of these uh, things. Somewhat. You know? Somewhat. Have you ever experienced that? As yes. a young, beautiful girl, huh? Yes. How do you handle it? Uh, as a, as a, an Armenian girl who's strict and all that. Go ahead. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know what? You have to be very strong. You have to have a thick skin. You have uh-huh. to have really, really thick skin, and you need to know who you are, uh-huh. how you went in, and how you're going to get out. Good. You have to... You, some of these girls just go in that car with them. They ask them, to, you know, they're going to make you a big star. Oh, then they invite you in the that. car, and you'll never get out of that car. Don't ever believe it. Don't ever believe it. Don't ever believe it. Never. When they tell you that. If it's too good to be true, it's too good to be true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's see, let's see this um, video of Sweet Dreams. Nice. Okay. Nice title. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
I like that. Wait, it's Sunday, it's Sunday night when you come to Don't Tell Mom to mm. entertain. Yeah. Will you do those two songs for me? Sure, I'd huh? love to. Th that'll be great. Sure. They have a, they have a, a DVD there. Okay. C a CD, I mean. Okay. And you could uh, hand them the CD. Great. And you could sing it. Wonderful. Okay, would you do that for us? Would love to. The, the, the kids would love you. <laughs> Don't forget, Monday, uh, Sunday night she will be at Don't Tell Mama. And the first show is at 9 o'clock. We go from 9 till uh, about 12 o'clock. Your sister, you have a sister. An but, older sister. An older sister. Yes. And she is a designer? Yes. She, uh, she's the first uh, the first person who made a female bow tie line. A female bow tie. Yeah. Is this one of them? That's one of them, and that's for you, from her to you. I love the color. Oh. Beautiful. That's one of my favorites. Is that a female? Bow tie? No, that's uh, actually, it's for both. It's, both? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's beautiful yeah. tie. Unisex. So she, uh, unisex, right. Yeah. Which I am. <laughs> she loves, uh, she loves androgynous. She wanted to have that whole um, dominant woman movement. Uh -huh. And I stood right behind her. I love the idea. Uh, what else does she do? She does bow ties. And right now she's she in France, and she is uh, expanding her bow tie line, uh -huh. her company. So it's going to be international, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, great. oh yeah. yeah. Uh, now how's she's going it doing? To New York. Very good. Uh -huh. People love it. What is it called? House of Papillon. The House of Papillon. Oh, yeah. I love the title. Yeah, Papillon. Yeah, French made, for bow tie. Yeah, it's made in L.A., I see. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's nice. <laughs> I really like that. Tell me about your... Um, Videos and new. Uh, first of all, your albums. Your, any, oh, any, yeah. any, anything coming out? You know what? My next album will be coming out uh, mid 2014, and in about a month, we'll complete the whole thing. We'll know what the next single is going to be, and we have the translators ready to do the next run of the 14 language recordings. Mm -hmm. I'm very, very excited. You are. It's going to be some new languages. Our goal is to eventually uh, cover every language, uh -huh. every major language. Um, once, you know, in the future we want... This you have, been, have you been to Europe yet with this? I have. You have? Where have you performed here? Uh, I've been to France, uh -huh. Italy. Um, how, do they, how do they uh, accept you? You know what? I'm more comfortable with my style over there, the European style. Uh -huh. uh, they, they're, they're a little bit more um, ahead, I guess. Uh -huh. they're, they're, they're more eccentric, artistic, somewhat, <laughs> you know. I, I agree. You have a band. Tell me about the new band. Yes, I'm so excited for you. A new band. How many in the band? Uh, we have a bassist, uh, keyboards, drums. Uh, it's going to be a lot of lights. Uh -huh. We're custom making all the instruments. Uh, they're custom designed. Uh, it's uh, it's it's going to be a great show. I'm so excited. Um, there is going to be eventually uh, there's more addition of uh, some exotic instruments. Uh huh. That it's hard to name. Actually, some like the theremin, uh -huh. glass harmonica. Who's your producer? You have any, uh, some of your producers. Who are some of the producers you have? I've worked with uh, plenty of people. I worked with the producers of Black Eyed Peas, Prince. Who's that? The Black uh, Eyed Peas. Yes, the Black Eyed Peas is a uh, they're they're a pop group. Uh huh. The, the, the now See, I'm not familiar with them. I I know the yeah. name, but not familiar. Sound familiar? Uh, there's Will I Am. There's Fergie. Uh huh. And uh, I work with Jalen. Uh, who worked uh -huh. with Gaga, Akon, Red One? Tell me about Gaga. You, you, I what a style! <laughs> what a what an end lady. She invents beautiful. Yeah, she is. Oh. I think she's. I think she's a wonderful artist. Yeah. She she came back and shocked everybody with a completely different side of herself. Uh -huh. Shocked me too. But um, did you ever meet her? Good. What was that? Have you met her yet? I haven't met her. I knew about her before she became. Gaga? Really? I, I did. I did. I never thought she was going to take that turn, but once I saw her video before it was released, I knew she was going to be <laughs> big. The I, another one I love is the wonderful jazz singer. She was a jazz singer in England, it, the one who died, you know. Amy Winehouse. Amy Winehouse. What a voice. God, what a voice. You know what? Adele kind of reminds me of her. A lot of people say Adele, that the voice. She does, yes. Yeah. Beautiful voice. Yeah, Classic. Adele. She's another great singer. She did the soundtrack of The Sopranos, I believe, right? Uh huh. Yeah. She's another great singer. Oh, amazing. Adele. She gets all these, these awards all the time, every time she appears. Yeah, the Grammys. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah. She gets, she's really a very. Uh, Sultry voice. Yeah. So some of the producers uh, are uh, who else? Um, actually, I have a DJ Phantom, uh -huh. who his real name is Cameron. Uh huh. 
and uh, that's uh, he worked on my new album as well and I forced Robert to produce with me on this album as well since he's so talented. Mm -hmm. um, who has Robert produced? He's produced a lot of people, but who has he really produced? Well, he had his uh, Spanish group, Kings of Flow, uh -huh. and he, uh, Claudia Jung from Germany, Europe, uh, uh -huh. then there was Gina Tillman. He did a lot of European artists. Yeah, because he's from Germany, yeah. you know. Yeah. They're very talented. Very. That's why I like them. And they have a good eye for talent. Oh, yeah. Very How did you discover talent. Robert? Where did he discover you? Uh, four years ago. Where? We met. We met at um, my... Uh, we met at a studio, the producers I was working with. Uh -huh. There were some Russian uh, producers, mm -hmm. and that's where we met... And when I when I talked to him when we talked when we spoke to each other, uh -huh. I was looking for a manager, a new manager, uh -huh. and uh, he was looking for a female artist. It was perfect. Um, we I, we have uh, the same mind, the same vision. Uh -huh. It's it's very important as an artist. That, that is very important. You gotta have that togetherness. Oh yeah, somebody yeah. that sees your vision, you could communicate uh -huh. with, who reads your mind. Mm -hmm. It's hard enough as it is, you know. So it's been. Uh, How do you come up with these creative things? At uh, because it's you know what it's very difficult. It, it's it's in my head. People ask me that. Uh, I think um, what God gave me and my mom always had such an eccentric. Now taste. your mind, uh, your mom. You keep mentioning your mom. Is she in the business? She's not. She's not. But where did she come in? She's okay. You know what? She of course plays a big role in my life. Uh, she ha she's a big supporter. Oh, I see. Okay. She believes in what I do, and she's she, a showbiz mom, right? You know what? She stays away from it. Oh, okay. She's she, not a showbiz mom. No. Okay. But you know what? She supports me. Uh huh. That's good. Yeah, my style is definitely influenced by her. Well, you can bring her in Monday, uh, Sunday night. Uh, at <laughs> don't tell mamas. Don't tell mama. Mom, you're coming. I, I want everybody to tell, <laughs> tell mama. Everybody's got to know. We got to tell them all that don't tell mama. We have on to. Sun, it's on Santa well, we Monica. We got to tell mama. <laughs> yeah, we got to tell mama. We got It's on uh, Santa Monica Boulevard and Sweetser. Don't tell mama. It's a wonderful um, room that I love. For my talent night okay, singers, I have I'm I've been doing this showcases in town for years and years on Monday nights. Now we switched it to Sunday. Even better. It's better. Sunday nights are better in West Hollywood, especially. I love West Hollywood. I've been to Skippy's show. You guys have to come down. It's I went fun, to, isn't it? It's so fun. Yeah. It's so yeah. fun. There's. But a you did a show at the other gay club called The Rage, is it? I did The Rage. How was it? it must have been great. Oh, one of my favorite clubs because the audience is amazing. Yeah, they're Such great. great reception. Yeah, they're really I great. I love it. Well, you're going to have a good time at Don't Tell Mama Can't Sunday wait. night. <laughs> we'll have a good time there. Good. Now, you're going to... Um, Ugh, 14 languages you sing. God darn, girl. I know. How did you learn all that? Languages? Oh, 14. You know, it, it's hard because you can't directly translate. Uh -huh. Because the meanings in every language, it, everything's different. You need to really work with a poet. Uh -huh. And you need to m make sense in every single language. What do you mean you have to work with a poet? Well, you know what? If you directly translate, uh -huh. it won't make sense. Uh, if okay. I say something in Arabic... Uh -huh. uh, and I directly translate from English, it has a completely different meaning. Uh -huh. So it has to make sense. The meaning has to be. What type of material is this right here? This lion. It's a lion, isn't it? I need to ask Rocky. This is amazing. It is so heavy. Is it? But it's beautiful. It so looks I don't heavy. Care. Yes. I, it I, is. It's steel he, or what? It does. He, he, yeah, probably. Steel. I oh. think so. I Does think it hurt so. your breast at all, or, or the bones? The uh, bones, yeah. Quite a bit. <laughs> I yeah. love it. Beauty is pain. Beauty is pain. It is. That's interesting. I like that line. Beauty is pain. Well, well, it I don't not. want pain. I don't want beauty. Well, <laughs> <laughs> okay, darling, go ahead. You know, I um, I love his work. I don't know uh, where he gets his ideas from, but he's the Filipino boy, huh? The Philip, yeah. Yeah, he's good. That's interesting. That that beautiful costumes. Yeah. Yeah, Halloween. Did you go on Halloween night here? You know what? Not this year. Not this year. Everybody asked me. They said, Zilala, what are you going to be? Uh -huh. I said, you know what? I'm going to be recording in the studio. I'm on the eighth song. Uh -huh. I can't go on. Well, you get tired on. of dressing up because you're an entertainer. Yeah. You want I mean, to it's, relax. It, you know, you're right. I guess people don't do it often, yeah. but I do it